Hello Makers. Late last year I saw an ad for this device. This is a Grove AI hack for edge computing made by Seed Studios based out of China. They make some interesting stuff from time to time. So having seen it, it caught my attention so I thought I'd order one in. It arrived November I think, October, November last year and I haven't had time to actually do anything with it. So I thought I'll unpack it because I'm planning on putting it into my robot fret. And this is our AI hat. Now it's based around the Cyped, Cyped M1 AI module using the K210 processor. It's um, a dedicated AI processor and there is a little bit of stuff on the internet on it. Seed Studio do have a wiki on this and instructions on how to download, set up and install. They actually program this chip using the Arduino IDE which is convenient since most of the makers who watch this channel will actually have that already installed. So there is instructions on their website on how to set that up. It comes with this little lethal looking adapter. This connects onto the headers of a Raspberry Pi and then this plugs onto it. So you can actually stack multiple hats. I won't put that on at the moment. It's powered by USB, although I believe you can also power it from the Raspberry Pi's 5 volt bus by changing the position of this switch. It has a camera input on it and I believe it has an LCD display output on it as well. Now Seed Studios are known for the Grove connector kits, Grove sensor systems and they have hats and shields. Uh, hats are plugged into the Raspberry Pi, shields onto the Arduinos that have these plugs on them which connect to their sensors using the same plugs and just using the cable. It is actually a, a very good system, uh, very, very useful for someone who's just learning how to use an Arduino or just learning how to use a Raspberry Pi. So it's worth having a look at their site uh, to see what else that they've got. They have just released a kit that contains an Arduino uh, and several sensors as well as the shield which is uh, not a bad idea. The more people who learn this stuff the better. So I thought I'll uh, unbox it and show you what it's got or what it looks like. The Raspberry Pi, as powerful as it is, is not really very powerful at all. But this can actually process video images. And uh, I'll actually link to a video where they use one of these boards to actually identify the difference between a face and say an animal and count people. Looking at the Seed Studio website uh, advertising this uh, particular AI module, um, we can actually see this price is in US dollars so it's actually very reasonable. In fact your Raspberry Pi is going to cost you more than this board does, yet this has more processing power than your Raspberry Pi. It has quite a bit of um, gear on board as well. So we have our USB to you know, div type C, uh, which is located down, down here. We have six Grove interfaces. As I may have mentioned, um, they're actually quite easy to hook up, particularly for beginners, great for kids. There's a power LED on it. A boot LED that can be used as a user LED, reset button, LCD interface, camera interface, digital mic located up here, accelerometer sensor, I'm not actually sure where that is, 
but that's very handy in robotics. Um, JTAG ISP UART pin headers and the 2x20 pin header with I2C UART SPI I2S and PWM GPIO connections up the top here. And that does plug straight onto the top of a Raspberry Pi. Accelerometer at point 10. So it's down here. It looks like a uh, looks like it'll take pretty much any of the uh, Raspberry Pi cameras which is handy. Documents you can actually download the PDF uh, which is near enough the schematic for this board so they've actually open sourced it which is really good it's not the first thing that Seed has open sourced yeah, it's on the back of the board, it's actually got the open source markings. Yeah, it looks like a very nice board and looking at it close up, it looks like a very good build as well. They do have a Wikipedia on this unit, so you can go to their wiki here and learn more about the unit including the software you need to download and how to set up to actually be able to program it and they've actually got a video showing the face count so I'll put a link in the description to that see as you can see it made a lot of different modules in the past and this is just another one and on this site it'll actually show you how to set it up so it's got all the details and then all the instructions on setting it up so you can play with Arduino and it actually goes through the process of installing the appropriate components you need to make it work So I'm going to go through that in another video after I get Fred basically operational and uh, we'll see what we can make uh, Fred see and do. That'll do for this quick little video. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to the wiki for this as well so you can have a read through and a link to where you can find it on their website. It didn't take that long for it to turn up from China so I will eventually get around to programming this up as I plan to use this for image recognition within my robot Fred which is my InMove build. To uh, see when I do those uh, don't forget to click subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when I upload videos. And we'll see you on the next video.